Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Red Bull Debrecen. So, we are at the stage in the season where we could win the league in the next game. Um, we have got so far on in the season now. Um, we obviously played the sporting game and ended up doing quite well um, since then. Uh, we haven't actually lost the game since. We've only drawn two games. And they were against Frank Ross. Which makes sense. They're second in the table. But also against Kisvada. I would like to point out are right at the bottom of the table. But just look at these stats. We, we had 32 shots. 20 shots on target. And an XG of 2.73. They didn't have a single effort on goal. And we drew. Nil-nil. I mean, I've I've started scouting this Baton Bense guy. Uh, just because of them not conceding. Because... That's incredible. And if he's got five caps for Hungary, I think I might want him in my team. Even if it's just as a backup. Um, he's their star player. But if we could take him from them to, to annoy them because they did that to us, then that's more than fine with me. But what we will do today is play the Mez Mezkovez, Mezkovez game. See how we get on. If we win the league, great. We'll play the Puskas Academia game. If we don't, we might go to Gior game because uh, I'm pretty confident we'll go through in the semi-final anyway because we have already got a 4-2 lead away from home. So we should be fine. But uh, this is the lineup we will be going for. We're playing our classic 4-2-3-1 as we have done all season. Uh, David Harvey in goal, the solid goalkeeper, um, who we may actually be looking to um, replace at the end of the season. I think that's an area we definitely need to improve. Then we've got Santa Lab at right back, Luke Thomas at left, Erak and Domokos in the middle, uh, forming quite a nice partnership. The, uh, uh, the Hungarian centre-back alongside the Montegr Montenegrin, um, who's a lot of people have come in for. Uh, wanting his signing but we've, we've kept hold of him for now same with Amado who might even be leaving because of his release clause he's been playing very well Argentinian centre midfielder there next to Sandri who is now Hungarian which is nice um, Lito, Cristiano and Salai all behind Zagacheta who has been phenomenal um, he has been absolutely fantastic 18 goals in 22 games can't be complaining about that he has been smashing them in the net uh, brilliant stuff he's been absolutely brilliant uh, lots of players on the bench as well. Um, don't know why I've clicked on Kyle Georgia there. And then we've got players here. A few unhappy ones. Simao, um, Munoz as well as Kesse Jones all wanting to go out on loan uh, and leave the club. I've tried to loan them out. Oh, and Brissetti. But no clubs want them. So tough. That's kind of my stance on that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, let's get straight into the game. Let's, uh, let's get a win. Let's get this trophy sorted. And then we can smash the cup. With this throw in though, nice and early on, it is cleared by Toth, but we look to get hold of that again. Domokos doing very well. Um, this season has been so good. Um, we since going out of the Champions League, we've absolutely smashed the league. Um, we've we've I've been able to rotate players, so get plenty of playing time for each uh, a bunch of players. But we've really found the team to play, and that is the goal to start things off. Um, Zapajeta with the goal from a Thomas Cross, which is exactly what we want to see. Getting those fullbacks down the down the wings, filling that box and getting the goals there. Um, lovely switch by Santa Lab over to Thomas. He was able to get into the box and just kind of dink it up into the middle. Keeper's nowhere to be seen. I don't know what he's flailing at, but Zapajeta is able to head that home. Two minutes in, 1-0. Another throw in. Santa Lab into Cristiano. Tries to cross it, doesn't quite. It falls to Amado. Looks to play across to Sandri. It is hoofed clear. They have no one up here to try and win that ball. How defensive are they playing? Um, the Sandri into Thomas. Back to Erak now. We're keeping the ball very nicely. Amado back to Erak. Uh, these are all players that, to be fair, um, we are a lot better than this other team. Uh, because these are players that are wanted by Premier League clubs. So it's understandable. That you'd you'd probably sit back, but I mean you are one 0 down after six minutes. You you gotta go somewhat attacking, right? But Salai into Amado. We've we've kept the ball very well um, during this little highlight we've had uh, into Cristiano who fires. I mean, 
That's not a good goalkeeping, is it? <laughs> I just spoke to you about a goalkeeping display that was phenomenal, keeping out 20 shots on target. Um, maybe that's why this team's doing so poorly, because of shots like that and the keeper just... <laughs> I can't... Yeah, I shouldn't laugh, but it's bad. It's a bad, bad effort saving that. Um I mean, they're not that low in the table. They are lower in the table. and could technically, I think, get relegated still. But, um, yeah, Nicholas has not shone himself in... Shone himself in sunlight? He's not... He's not done well. Let's just leave it at that. Um, as they do come forward, though, they could create something here. Into back Osmecris looks through. Is And that's how you save something. I mean, it was a team effort, but Harvey got his hands on it and he saved it, which is the main thing. Now, we have got a free kick here. Cristiano scored a few before. Can he do it again? It's a long range. I mean, it's worth having a go because, I mean, if, if Nicholas is just going to let, let him in anyway, we might as well um, have a dig from a free kick. Uh, Thomas does well to cut that out, that clearance out, and Leto's now got the ball. Plays it across, maybe. I'm going to say he's going to play it out wide. Or not. He's still he's still going. Plays it into Cristiano, in fact. Gets a bit of space. Pops it bottom right hand corner. That I can let him off for, for a bit more. Because um, that was quite a tidy little finish. 3-0 in 20 minutes. This could be quite a route. Corner ball. Whips in. Off the bar by Zagacheta. A lovely ball in. And, and he's done very well with the header. To, to get a header on goal. But it does come off the bar. I mean, we've, we're dominating the game. This is very easy. Um, as this season has been. You can see there. Goal difference of 69. Winning 24 of our games. We've only lost one game this season. Against Frank Frost. So. What I'm thinking. Is we could go a season unbeaten. That might be kind of the challenge. And if we do do that, it might be a case that that's a better idea to end the save than get winning anything in Europe because that's going to take far too long. Um, <laughs> but we'll see. I think, uh, no, I, I'm confident we can still win a European competition. I think that's fine. Um, let's bring on Marin on for Salai. He's been very done very well. Our front four, um, including Salai, that are currently on the pitch, have um, got over double digits in goals-wise. So, I mean, they're spreading the goals across... The team, which is good to see. And Marin's definitely not played as much as he probably should get to. Um, so he's done very well considering that uh, with getting over 10 goals. Um, he is driving forward now. Plays it back to Thomas Sandry, who is just an absolute pivot in the side. Um, we've got a good core, to be fair. We've got Arak at the back. Um, Sandri and Amado in the middle with Cristiano just behind Zagacheta. I mean, it's a great core of a team to have, especially going into next season. Hopefully, we can keep hold of those players and just improve on that. Hopefully, we can get a goalkeeper that's that's nice and solid. Um, and then maybe even a right back, depending on kind of how I feel about the, the boys that we've got there. Um, they're not bad at all, but um, if we can improve, we, we will look to, certainly. Leto with the goal there. Cristiano plays it across not even paying any attention two minutes into the second half and we've already got another one that makes it for lovely little finish on the left peg last five minutes of the game I have not made a single sub this game which is probably a bad idea especially considering our players are going to be getting tired uh, let's Cristiano could come off as well for Kalmar because why not and they've just scored whilst I was making subs um, <laughs> I just like was sat there just you know, yeah, time's ticking away we're winning uh, and then they score Toth with the shot. I mean, were they saying that the guy was sitting in front of the... I mean, that wasn't offside. That was just awful defending. Um, they deserve that goal for the, the terrible defensive work we did there. Um, but there we go. We have won the league. You get to see us lift the trophy. And then hopefully, next episode, um, we'll get to lift the next trophy as well. But um, we'll have to see because we will be playing the second leg of that game in today's video. So stick around. It's not quite over yet. But um, let's see the boys lift the trophy. Oh, where is all that confetti coming from? Is it coming from? Are these like confetti cannons? Are they? Is that what they are? I mean, because they just look like pyro to me. But where is this all coming from? It's coming from above. Is there like a plane that flies over and it like just drops it all? And then there's a, there's another one. They've dropped another lord. Um, but yeah. 
I mean, win to win, 4-0. We've got the trophy, we've won the league. So um, in the next few league games, definitely I'll be just chucking random boys out who haven't played much um, to, to get them game time, certainly. Uh, Slavia Prague did get 1.2 million for the deal for Jasmine Arak because we won the league. Oh, no, because they played 50 games. I mean, yeah, what, I don't know why I'd put if we win the league because that's kind of a bit obvious. <laughs> uh, Cristiano gets a bonus. For the 15 league assists, which makes sense. Uh, yeah, won the league as expected. That's five out of six seasons we've won that league. I'm a bit annoyed that Frank Ross won that division in between that. <laughs> but we'll have to see how many leagues we can go now without um, losing the title to someone else. I mean, I'm pretty confident that now we've kind of got into a form where no one's going to be able to stop us. I think we could go absolutely undefeated. And it could be undefeated for a while. But we are in the Champions League. Um, and we do get to just before the um, group stage. So we only have to win one game to get through. As long as it's the same as last season. Which I hope it is. Um, so that's obviously very, very good. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to get into there. And a lot less uh, worrying about having to power through those games. I mean, it is a case that they're likely to be um, easier games. We've, we've never found it too much of an issue. But it's good... To, it's good that it is shorter period of time to, to actually get into the group stage. But we'll jump into the Puskas Academia game uh, on the second leg. And I will see you with the squad. Okie dokie then. So this will be the lineup we have gone for. Obviously, as I'm sure you're very aware by now, um, we can only have five foreign players in the team. Uh, so they're only, only players that are outside of European nations. Um, so what that does mean is we do move things around for the cup a little bit. Um, and and like I say, we're 4-2 up. I'm quite confident we're at home now. So we will be playing some players that don't often play. Um, speaking of which, I think I will actually put Simon in goal for the second leg because um, he's played a couple of games as well, give him some game time. So Simon will be in goal. Santalab, Erak, Alexandris and um, Bassetti at the back. Uh, Alexandris is the Peruvian centre half that we've brought in. Um, I mean, he's obviously not training very well, but otherwise looks okay. Six foot two. Uh, he's got a bit of potential about him. I mean, this is more just to hopefully help his improvement so we can sell him on for money. Um, Emiliano Bassetti, uh, it, it does look like very possibly it could be a good player for us. Uh, I'm not too happy about his attitude because he's not very happy with me. That's the main reason. Uh, Peter Gasbrick in the middle. Obviously, we've seen him play a few times. He's got great composure, great technique, good passing. I mean, he's very solid in there. Sandry's obviously next to him. Uh, Munoz, who again has been a bit moany, but I wanted to give him game time to get it, try and get him out of that kind of attitude that he's got. Um, played two games for Colombia already, which is good. Sadekide um, has also played a few times for us in the cup competition. The big six foot seven striker. He's playing just behind Caio Jorge in today's game and Javier Marin is on that left hand side. Um, wanted to play Caio Jorge because he doesn't get anywhere near the amount of game time now as he is the second string striker, but he does play almost every cup game. Um, so in that front, I'm not too worried, but there's our team playing the 4-2-3-1 that we know and love. Uh, and hopefully we will do okay, as we should do. Carrera is obviously in the other team, recently sold at the beginning of the season to Puskas Academia. So he will be looking to get some revenge on us, as I'm sure he'd love to show us what we're missing. But I um, think we'll be okay. Uh, here's the throw-in for Pus Puskas Academia, though. But here's the win. San Kize, um with the tackle. The big guy in the middle, out to Munoz. He's going to use his pace to get down that right-hand side. Is he going to look to cut back on his favoured left foot? He cuts inside, certainly. Plays it back to Gasperick. It is blocked on the edge, but Sandri is able to grab hold of that again. Plays it out to Bersetti. He does a little spin <laughs> and keeps hold of the ball in the end. It's a long ball forward. We haven't... I'm, I'm, yeah, I was going to say we haven't scored yet, so I'm disappointed. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter. As long as we're not conceding. I'm pretty happy with how things are going. I mean, 4-2 up. We've got a couple of goals um, in our favour. And we are on the ball going forward now. Munoz maybe going to look to play it back out wide to Santalab, who will definitely get across in. There it is. Marin's at the back post. Heads it over. It's not often he misses those, to be fair. Uh, so, half-time. It is nil-nil. Um, it seems like uh, Xavi Marin did take a little knock, but I don't think I'm too worried about that. I think I'll bring on Kalmar for Sandri, who's looking a little tired 
um, and no need to really push him too much at this stage. And it'd be good to get Kalmar some games. He hasn't played too much this season. He's dropping off a little bit with his kind of ability and his, especially physicals, as he is now 31. But he's a good player to have in the team. Um, same with Orban as well, who hasn't played much this season. It's just those players that can kind of steady the ship. They, they're keeping an eye on all the young lads that are in there um, and hopefully keeping them all in check. 20 minutes to go. There's still not been any sort of change in form there. I think we'll pop Sanikize up top and then let's bring on Salai into the middle there. Um, just see if that changes anything. Uh, how It's a bit of a different player that um, the strikers, the defenders are going to have to deal with. I mean, Carrera is big enough to probably deal with him to some extent, but I think having him up top will definitely cause some issues for them. He's still got a good bit of... a physical ability to be able to get in behind if needed as you can see he's making that run already he knows what he wants to do salai has got the ball in the middle as well who again that probably is a position that he'll need he'll start to develop in and play more and more in for us um just because it means he will won't have to run as much up and down the left and right hand side um he does love to get forward and there's the goal he's been brought on speak of the devil he fires it bottom left hand corner um, does well to get past a few players to, to find that opening, making it 5-2 on aggregate. I think this game's in the bag now and we will be going through to the final. Um, it'll be interesting to see who we play. Uh, Frank Frost is in the other game and I've, I looked the other day, I looked uh, a little while ago and saw that um, in that cup we have only lost it twice and both times have been to Frank Frost. Um, and we played them about four times in it or three times or however many <laughs> seasons there's been. Um, there's only been two times we have. We've been in it every single time, the final. Um, and we've only played a different team twice uh, of all the, the times we've played them. So what's that? That must be seven times or six times. So we've played them four times. Yeah, there you go, though. That is one nil. We did beat Puskas Academia. We will be playing in the final of the Mugia Cupas Cup. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. I don't know if we'll be able to see that if um, we've got it or not. And you can see down here that we've won it four times. And the two times we didn't win it, Frank Ross won it. Um, that's kind of how the finals tend to go. But we will certainly see if we can get in who will be playing. Uh, any more updates? Tuesday, Wednesday game? Is it going to be a Wednesday game? Do we get to see who will be playing? I don't know. I'm going to just keep talking like this until we get it. Da, 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 da. It is, yeah. So it'll be um, Homved or Frank Ross. Let's just keep going until we find out. I want us to see who we'll be facing. I'm, I bet it'll be Frank Ross. They are 3 2 up as well. I hope it's Homved because I'd like a bit of a different team to play in the final. Nope, there it is. <laughs> it's Frank Rossi, as, as kind of expected. Um, it's the, the rematch again. This might as well be... Have we got him as a rival? I hope we do, because... we. I mean, he, they should be. It should be a derby, because the amount of times we've played him in the cup final, uh, we definitely should be having that. Um, I'm an icon now, which is nice to see. Uh, and you've got some favoured personnel. Luke Thomas is a favoured personnel, which is interesting. Kalmar makes sense. I'm surprised Sandri's not there. Because he's been with us the whole time. Um, ben Teke and Jujaku, which again, makes sense uh, that he'd be a bit of a favoured personnel. Um, no legends as of yet, though, which makes sense. Only seven. The club's only like seven years old, so it's no real surprise. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll jump back at the end of the season when we go to play Frank Verossi. Um in the cup final. I'm sure you've seen it before. But we'll we'll win it this time. Once again. Hopefully. Anyway. Um, but yeah. We'll see you then. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Like. Subscribe. And all that good stuff. And I will see you then.